in this class we are going to discuss quadratic form okay to see what's a first we have to know that what's the meaning of quadratic form for example i'm going to take one of the matrix a a is equal to a11 a12 a13 i'm taking three cross three matrix a21 a22 a23 okay and also a31 a32 a33 i'm considering three cross three one matrix i want to express this matrix into quadratic form quadratic means the the is power of that polynomial having two that is called quadratic okay now how to express it now here this is a 3 cross 3 matrix i'm going to take x is a column vector matrix or column vector involving how many unknowns 3 unknowns x1 x2 x3 taking number of unknowns in capital x it depends upon order of the matrix now i'm going to take x transpose a into x I have to calculate this now what is x transpose or leave it as itself i'm going to take a a11 a12 a13 and then a21 a22 a23 and a31 a32 a33 into x1 x2 x3 what is x transpose is x1 x2 x3 okay of you multiply row into column once you multiply row into column a11 x1 plus a12 x2 because is unknown value a13 x3 okay next second row with the column a21 x1 a plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 next last row a31 x1 plus a32 x2 and a33 is nothing but into x3 okay and then you multiply row into column we get a uh, one term value a11 x1 square yes a see you just observe carefully and then you do it row into column means try to understand that row into x1 is multiplied by this value x2 multiplied by this value x3 multiplied by this therefore x1 multiplied this a12 row into column this element this this element for this this element this a12 x1 x2 a13 x1 x3 these comes under x1 plus next x2 with this a21 x1 x2 okay a22 uh, x2 square and then a23 x a23 uh, x2 x3 this comes under x2 next plus x3 with this a31 x1 x3 plus a32 x2 x3 and then x3 x2 is nothing but x2 x3 only plus a33 into x3 square now this can also be written as a11 x1 square plus a1 i'll writing x square term first a22 x2 square and also a33 x3 square and then group the similar term a x1 x2 here is there here also is there a12 plus a21 sum of these two give rise the coefficient term x1 and x2 sum of a12 and a21 a12 is a position this a21 is this this sum give rise the coefficient of x1 x2 plus you have x1 x3 here have x1 x3 here a13 plus a31 sum give us x13 coefficient similarly a23 what is a23 have this and this uh, a23 plus a32 into x2 x3 now this is nothing but quadratic form of the given matrix 3 cross 3 that is denoted by q of x is a quadratic form of the given matrix how to express quadratic form 
electric x transpose a into x that give rise quadratic form. Observe carefully x1 square coefficient is a11 this is very very important and x2 square coefficient is uh, a22 diagonal value a33 is nothing but coefficient of x3 square. Sum of a12 and a21 is nothing but coefficient of x1 x2. Sum of a13 and a31 is nothing but coefficient of x1 x3. Sum of a21 and a32 is a coefficient of x2 x3. Keep in mind this is a very very important because sometimes they are asking to quadratic form to write it matrix form. From the matrix form we have to write it quadratic form. Now this is these two sum give us x1 x2, these two sum give us x1 x3 coefficient, these two sum give us x2 x3 coefficient. Now this is a this form is called quadratic form of the given matrix. What is the formula? x transpose into a into x. Why they treat it quadratic form? Highest power of this expression is nothing but 2, therefore this is a quadratic form. Okay. Now let us try to take based on that some problem. I am going to explain that. Okay. Now I think everyone is clear for this part. You please remember what are the quotients or sum of what are the values of the matrix. Okay. Now I am going to uh, uh, take uh, the problem, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now uh, you have a, a mat express, yes, express A equals one, two, three, two, four, five, three, five, six in quadratic form. How to express is a 3 cross 3 matrix q of x must be equal to you have x1 square right x1 square depends upon the quotient of first uh, principal diagonal first value 1 into x1 square this is the quotient of x2 square this is a quotient of uh, x3 square what we discussed just few minutes before plus x1 x2 is nothing but sum of a12 and a21 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 x1 x3 quotient is nothing but sum of a13 a31 means 6 plus x2 x3 is uh, the quotient of sum of what a32 uh, a, a23 and a32 5 plus 5 is 10. This is such a way at express the given uh, uh, matrix in the quadratic form. What I derived based on that I taken. Okay, this way you try for a few more problems. Now, uh, then uh, you have a uh, what about the quadratic form? You have a quadratic form. You have a quadratic form. You have a quadratic form. Okay. How we get another important. Yeah. This is one of the problem what are written the board. Express this in the quadratic form. Okay. Now this is actually q of x must be equal to recall just few minutes before I derived the result for the expression for the quadratic form. Diagonal values of quotient of x1 square, x2 square, x3 square, therefore 1 into x1 square plus 4 into x2 square and then 6 into x3 square, okay. And then x1, x2 quotient is nothing but sum of a12, a21 means 4 x1, x3 quotients are nothing but sum of a13, a31, 6 and x2, x3 quotients are nothing but sum of a23 and a32 is nothing but 10. This is the way I to express the given uh, matrix in the form of quadratic. Now I am going to take one problem, how to express in the form of uh, quadratic form to uh, what about that uh, in the matrix form. 
okay. Now I am going to take one uh, q of x, okay, equals x1 square minus 2x2 square minus 3x3 square plus 4x1 x2 plus 6x1 x3 minus 8x2 x3, okay. How to express this uh, in the quadratic form? As quadratic form is there, I to express in terms of the matrix. First you write the square, x square uh, coefficients are in the diagonal value x1, x2, x1, x2 is a sum of the coefficient of a1 to a21, take half of that 2 and then you write 2 here. And next x1, x3, that is nothing but uh, uh, sum of the uh, terms of what a13, a31 divided by 2, 3 and also 3. Next, minus a to have, yeah, minus 8 means take along with minus a divided by 2 that comes in minus 4 and minus 4 here, this is a matrix. If we want to go back, we get the same quadratic. Therefore, I explained here uh, two things. One is a how to express matrix to quadratic form, quadratic form to matrix form. You take some few more problems and uh, check it out and do it. For example, I will take another one q of x must be equal to uh, 5x1 square, 3x2 square and uh, 2x3 square uh, minus x1, x2 and plus Eight x two x three. Now I want to express in terms of the matrix. X one square, x two square is there. You write it in the diagonal. Uh, principal diagonal values. Next, you have x one, x two, minus one. But I take it up. They have to substitute a one to a two one. Therefore, minus a, minus a. Okay. And next, x two, x three is there. That is the sum of a two three, a three two. Therefore, four and four. But which one is missing? A13, A31. You do not have X1, X3 term. Therefore, these two missing means replace it by 0. This is a way I to convert quadratic to matrix form. Okay. Now, I move to the next concept. The next concept is conversion of quadratic form into quadratic form with no cross product terms, with no cross product. This is the, based on that they are going to ask the question also in the exam. You must be observe carefully and then do it. Now, step 1. Usually in that case, suppose they are going to ask conversion of quadratic form into quadratic form with no cross product form, they definitely give quadratic form. They given a quadratic form, you convert into matrix. First you convert into matrix in the step 1. In the step 2, after you convert into matrix, you find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors find out lambda 1, lambda 2 like that and find out x1, x2 like that, okay. After we find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors from A, verify that in step 3 normal, verify whether is uh, uh, vectors, uh, eigenvectors are orthogonal or not, I to verify orthogonal property. Suppose is orthogonal, next you normalize, x1 divided by norm of x1 x2 divided by norm of x2 like that. You replace each normalized vector in P. Each column of P is nothing but normalized vectors of the eigenvalues. After you verify eigenvectors are orthogonal, orthogonal vectors normalized and then you replace it each column is nothing but normalized uh, orthogonal uh, vectors. And next step you, you know diagonal uh, property form, what is D is equal to P transpose A into P. Because this uh, once you convert that we get a square matrix, therefore we are using a formula P transpose A into P is nothing but D. Using this formula you find out diagonal matrix. Once you get diagonal, you please try to understand, you this is a formula for P transpose A into P, okay. Now what we are going to do here? 
this is a diagonal uh, form you know that d is equal to p transpose a into p. The next is q of x is nothing but x transpose a into x. You already know that if you want to convert in quadratic form, what is the formula? x transpose a into x. Now, instead of x, I am going to substitute p1. Instead of x, what I am going to do? I am going to substitute new variable p into y. x, uh, what is that? x uh, p y transpose a into p y. You know that a b whole transpose is nothing but what? b transpose into a transpose. Ulta. Then y transpose p transpose a into p y. You group these three because it is associative property whole squared. Groups these three, p transpose a into p is d. You already know that y transpose d into y. Now, with the help of that, you write it because diagonal matrix is smart. You are having only a principal diagonal values as uh, uh, non zero, rest of the value is zero. Then you make a quad, uh, quadratic form. Definitely, there is no cross pro product term occur here. Keep in mind, if you want to convert the given quadratic form into, again I have to convert into quadratic form with no cross product form, means there is, we are not expecting x1, x2, x3, x3 terms. Now, here first you convert into matrix, find out that matrix eigenvalues and eigenvector, verify whether the eigenvectors are uh, orthogonal or not, okay fine. After verify is orthogonal, you normalize, what normalize you write it in the uh, column that is nothing but P. Once you make it the p, you know what is d. d is p transpose a into p. Once you we get that, now we have to convert into again quadratic form with no cross product. Therefore, I take an x transpose a into x. I am going to replace new variable p y and take that uh, simplify that we get this. Once you substitute that definitely there is no cross product term occur here. Now, I am going to solve one problem then easy to understand how this work, how we get no cross product term here. You now, I think uh, is it clear? Now, I move to the one problem based on that because it is very important. They are going to ask the question in the exam also. Yes. Convert the quadratic form Q of x equals x1 square minus 8 x1 x2 minus 5 x2 square into quadratic form with no cross product terms class product terms, okay. Solution. Yeah, you take the given, what they given here? Q of x. What is Q of x is x1 square minus 8 x1 x2 minus 5 x2 square, okay. From this, now first you express a quadratic to matrix. I am going to take that matrix as A. Now here you have x1 square 1 diagonal 1 minus 5. x1, x2 occur in a12 and a21. Half of that we get minus 4, minus 1. Okay, this is a. From this I want to find out uh, eigenvalues and eigenvector a minus lambda i equal to 0. That implies determinant of 1 minus lambda because order of the identity matrix is to 1, 0, 0, 1. And then I think uh, you do not know, I will explain this. 1 minus 4 minus 4 minus 5 is already explained minus lambda 0, 0 lambda. You simplify that. Determinant is 0. That implies determinant of 1 minus lambda minus 4 minus 4 minus 5 minus lambda equal to 0. Once you uh, simplify this, after uh, multiply this, what we get actually 1 minus lambda of minus 5 minus lambda minus of minus into minus we get plus we have minus 16 equal to 0 yeah we get uh, minus into minus plus yeah plus and then we get minus and then uh, uh, simplify that after the simplification 
we get uh, equation is minus lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 21 equal to 0. Now, I am not done this because if just a simple simplification multiplied that multiplied by minus pi multiplied by minus lambda after the simplification what do we get minus lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 21 we get. Once we get uh, this value sim, uh, find two roots because uh, quadratic is a 2 cross 2 but the two roots are lambda is equal to minus uh, lambda is equal to 3 and lambda is equal to 7 lambda 1 is equal to 3 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 7 the roots are my 3 and minus 7. Now you find out the corresponding uh, eigenvectors you know how to find out the eigenvectors. Now I have to take the what is the eigenvector formula uh, 1 minus uh, 1 minus lambda 4 or uh, minus 4 minus pi minus lambda is a matrix of x1 x2 this is nothing but 0 0. Now you take put first uh, eigen uh, value put lambda 1 is equal to 3 implies yeah 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 4 minus 4 minus 8 5 minus 5 plus 3 we get minus 2 sorry minus 2 why because th minus b minus uh, 3 we get sorry minus lambda is there 8 yeah now what we get actually this is must be equal to 0 0 now you write the system of, and also into x1 column vector x1 x2 must be equal to 0 0 column vector not column matrix simplify this Simplify for lambda is equal to uh, uh, 3, yeah, we return lambda is equal to 3, we get, uh, these are the uh, uh, thing we get, simplify that, yes, and then finally we get, uh, you multiply and simplify that, finally we get the uh, uh, two equations, what is the two equation, multiply this minus 2x1 plus 4x2 equal to 0, what is another equation? minus 4x1 okay and then uh, minus uh, the value is uh, lambda is equal to 3 uh, what we get uh, minus uh, minus here uh, see just uh, observe here uh, yeah I, no, one minute I did mistake here from here to here 1 minus lambda minus 4 correct uh? here also minus 4 okay what we get actually here minus 4 minus 8x2 must be equal to 0. See here having minus 4 means here also minus 4. Please check it out. Then we get. Now where to simplify for both the equations are same. If we get x1 is equal to minus 2x2. x1 is equal to minus 2x2. That implies what are the two values we get. That implies x1 by minus uh, x1 by 2 must be equal to x2 by minus 1. What I did? I taken 2 as a cross multiplication we get x by 2, I keep minus 1 as itself, we get 1. Therefore, what is our eigenvector here? 2 minus 1 is the one of the eigenvector. Similarly, find out another eigenvector, put lambda is equal to 3. Put lambda is equal to minus 7. Yeah. Once you put minus 7, 1 minus lambda, minus into minus what we get? Plus 8. Yeah. Minus 4. Okay. What is the next? Minus 4 minus lambda minus 7 minus into minus plus 7 we get 2 yeah of x1 x2 equal to 0. Now write the equation 8x1 minus 4x2 x2 equal to 0 minus 4x1 uh, what is that plus 2x2 equal to 0. We get uh, two equations yeah these two equations are we are expecting now here. Now we get in the first equation what we get x1, 2x1, 2x1 equal to uh, 4x2 yeah that implies uh, or whatever that uh, I, uh, yeah 8x1 sorry uh, uh, 4 uh, then we get 2x1 equal to x2 that implies x1 uh, by 1 x2 by here also we get same thing. Either you take first equation or second equation does not matter. Uh, in similarly both the case we get the same thing. Yeah. Uh, if you want to take uh, this one for this equation, uh, 4x1 is equal to 2x2. 
that implies 2x1 equal to x2. Same thing, these two are same equation, we get a same. Therefore, what is another eigenvector is x2 is 1, 2. First one is 2 minus 1, second one is 1, 2. What is the next? You have to verify whether these eigenvectors are orthogonal or not. And then I have to normalize. In a product of x1, comma x2 is nothing but x1 transpose into x2. What is x1? Uh, just now we calculated. Uh, x1 is uh, 2, uh, you write it in the row wise and then x2 is uh, uh, 1, 2, multiply that 2 minus 2, we get 0. Therefore, the vector x1 and x2 is an orthogonal set of non-zero vectors. But I want normalized vector. Therefore, what is a normalized vector here? x1 divided by norm of x1. What is uh, x1? This is my x1, right? Uh, 2, square root of 2 square plus minus 1 whole square means 4 plus 1, we get root 5. Then we get what is 2 by root 5, divided by root 5, minus 1 by root 5. And also x2 by x, uh, norm of x2 is nothing but what is uh, x2 value? 1. We get same thing, root of 1 square plus 2 square 5, root 5, 1 by root 5, 2 by root 5, okay? In the next step, you prepare p. What is my p? p is nothing but first column 2 by root 5. These two normalize column vectors of the columns of p. 1 by root 5, 2 by root 5. Okay. Next, what we are going to do? Find out d. d is what? p transpose a into p. We did already this part. p transpose what is a? a, we are just now we return few minutes. Uh, minutes before, you have in the previous, uh, you, once you go back to the, my previous, uh, uh, same uh, five minutes before the video, we get what is A. Now, A is 1 minus 4 minus 4, 5 into P trans P. What is P? 2 by root 5 minus 1 by root 5, 1 by root 5 and 2 by root 5. This is my P. Next, you have to substitute P transpose. What is P transpose? P transpose is nothing but column, row become column. 2 by 5 root 5, 1 by root 5 and then minus 1 by root 5. Change row into column for P, that is all. Into multiply this. Row into column. 2 by root 5 plus uh, minus into minus plus 4 by root 5. We get 6 by uh, uh, root 5. Yes, 6 by root 5. Okay. Again, you take this column, uh, row into column, 1 by root 5, minus 8 by root 5. What we get? Actually, minus 7. 1 minus 8 is minus 7 root 5. And then you move to this. 4 2 is 8. A minus 8 by root 5, minus 5 by root 5. We get minus the... 3 by, see observe, from uh, this to uh, this, yeah, yeah, minus and then 5, yeah, uh, what is uh, A, A is what actually, yeah, uh, yeah, this is no, yeah, 1 minus 5, this is minus 5, sorry, this is minus 5, because 1 minus 5 diagonal values, minus 4 minus 5, now you multiply for this to this, what we get actually first uh, element minus 8 by root 5 minus into minus plus 5 by root 5. We get 3 by root 5 plus 5 minus 8 means minus 3 by root 5. Correct. And next multiply it with the last column minus 4 by root 5 plus uh, 10 by root 5. What we get actually minus 4 by root 5 minus 10 by root 5 minus 14 by root 5. Yeah, minus 4, 8, minus, plus 5, we get minus 3, minus 4, minus 10, minus 14. Again, you multiply it. Once you multiply this, row into column. Yeah, a 5, uh, what about that uh, 2? So, 6 2s are 12 by 5 and also multiply 12 by 5, okay? And also uh, add the term 3 by 5. Now, 15 by 5, 
what is uh, 15 by uh, 5 is 3. 15 by 5 is 3. Next, move to the next one. Minus 14 by 5, uh, minus into minus plus 14. Minus 14 by 5 plus, because root 5, root 5, denominator is 5. 7 2s are 14, minus 14 by 5 plus 14 by 5, we get 0. Next, move to the this row. 6 by 5 minus 6 by 5, because root 5 into root 5 is 5 in the denominator, 0. Next, minus 7 by 5 and then uh, my, uh, minus, uh, what about that, uh, 14 by 5, then simplify that, we get minus 7. Please try to understand from this to this, minus 7 by 5, 14 2s are 28 by 5. We get uh, 35 by 5, we get minus 7. Now, what are the eigenvalues? 3 and minus 7 only. Therefore, this is diagonalized. Next, I want to convert the given uh, mat, uh, quadratic form having a cross product term x1 is 2. I want to eliminate. What is the formula? Q of x must be equal to x transpose a into x. What is x? Py to the power of transpose a into Py. Okay, then once you update transfer that uh, y comes first p transpose a into p. I will group these two, these three together because this associative property holds good. Either you take a b first or b c first does not matter. Uh, y transpose of d, this is d into y. Y transpose, you know y having what are the vectors y1 and y2. Transpose means y1, y2 is in the Rho form. D, just now we calculate 3, 0, 0, minus 7 into y1, y2. Yeah. You multiply this, you multiply this, what we get? You get q of x must be equal to y1, y2 of multiply that. 3, y1, okay. And then in the first row plus 0 y2 is 3 y1. While come to second uh, row with uh, this column 0 minus 3 y2. We get minus 7 y2. Again multiply row into column 3 y1 square minus 7 y2 square. Now again we are converting to quadratic form but there is no cross product term. See this is a method the conversion of quadratic form into quadratic form without, with, with no cross product. What we did? First you convert the quadratic form into matrix form, find out the from the matrix form eigenvalues and eigenvector, verify whether the eigenvectors are uh, orthogonal. Suppose uh, then orthogonal you have to take normalized orthogonal vectors are the columns of P. Once you get the columns you diagonalize, you did uh, orthogonal diagonalization, same thing. And then uh, P transpose A into P, you multiply it, we get a diagonal matrix, leave it. Then again I want to convert into quadratic form, take X transpose A into X, X I am going to write Py because in terms of X we are taking new variable, simplify that. Finally we get this, the conclusion of this, when we are getting quadratic form with no cross product term means only a principal diagonals are values are non-zero values, other values are zero means the given matrix in the diagonal matrix form, the given matrix in the form of diagonal matrix, there we are expecting a quadratic form having no cross product. This is a method they are going to allot for some 8 uh, marks for this or 10 depends upon the uh, paper setter. This is one of the important thing. That is why I explained quadratic form. And I think it is clear everyone for this, how I have to solve this uh, problem. Now, I will give another one problem. That is uh, that problem also very, very important. I am going to give a hint. You try and do it because just similar to this problem only. Okay. Uh, the second problem for this one function yeah, same thing convert into uh, quadratic form, but the different uh, uh, convert into quadratic form without uh, cross product terms. Now, I am going to take uh, another function, say q of x must be equal to 3x1 square plus 3x2 square 
plus 2 x1 x2. What we are going to do? First you convert in the form of matrix. How to convert in the form of uh, matrix here? Uh, here 3, uh, 3 because the x1 square is 2. This is take it off of that 3, 1, 1, 3. And then you find the uh, a minus uh, eigenvalue is equal to 0. Then what we get actually this implies 3 minus lambda 1, 1, 3 minus lambda. What we get? That equal to 0. That implies 3 minus lambda whole square minus 1 square. This is just like a square minus b square. 3 minus lambda a plus b into a minus b. 3 minus lambda minus 1 equal to 0. That implies 3 minus lambda plus 1 equal to 0. 3 minus lambda minus 1 equal to 0. That implies lambda is equal to 4 is a one of the root and also lambda is equal to 4. Now here we get lambda is equal to 2 is another root. 3 minus 1 is 2. We get 2 minus lambda is 0 means lambda, lambda 2 is 2. From that find out the eigen vector. For lambda is equal to 1, first you write the matrix. Uh, what is that? 3 minus lambda 1, 1, 3 minus lambda into x1, x2 equal to 0. And then you take it uh, lambda is equal to 4, lambda is equal to 2. For lambda is equal to 4, what is the matrix we get? 4, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1 of x1, x2 equal to 0. You solving this equation, system of uh, equation and then finally we get actually minus x1, both are equation, we get same form only. And then x1 minus x2 equal to 0, solve that, we get uh, x1 is equal to x2, that implies one of the eigen vector is 1, 1, okay. Similarly find second eigen uh, uh, vector lambda is equal to, uh, what is the value, 2 here what we get? Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1, 1 into x1, x2, 0, 0. Then easy to find out here. We get another uh, eigen vector is 1 minus 1 or minus 1, 1. This is a way we have to find out another eigen vector or if you want to take minus 1 plus 1 choice of you. In the next step, verify whether these uh, vectors are orthogonal or not, x1 transpose into x2 means 1, 1 and then another one is 1 minus 1, we get 1 minus 1 is 0. Then we have to normalize x1, norm of x1, what is norm of x1 is root of 1 square plus 1 root 2, then we get 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. What is another one for this, x2 is uh, x2 by norm of x2, what is norm of x2 again? My root of 1 square minus 1 square root 2, then we get 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, okay. Okay, another. Now here in the next step, now we are writing P is nothing but normalized vectors of each of the columns of P is nothing but normalized vectors, 1 by root 2. 1 by root. What is the next one? 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2. Okay, fine. Now we have to find out d is equal to p transpose a into p. p transpose a, you, you know that, what is a? 3, uh, 3, 1, 1 of 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, then 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2. You please multiply by these 3 after substitute of p transpose, from that you know what is p transpose, p transpose is 1 by root 2, rho becomes column, 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, yeah. Simplify that, finally we get uh, d is 4, 2, 4, 0, 0, 2. Just you multiply p trans, first you multiply these two, then multiply p transpose. And next you find out q of x, what is my q of x? x transpose a into x. x I told you take py transpose a into py. Yeah. Then you simplify that y transpose into p transpose a into p into y. 
group these three we get D into Y. Then you substitute Y transpose Y and D simplify that we get a required quadratic form. Y is, uh, y is instead of Q of X better uh, yeah Q of X okay Q of X is nothing but what actually Y transpose is Y1 and Y2 because it is a 2 cross 2 and then D 4 0 2 this is Y1 Y2 simplify that Y1 Y2 this is what we get actually 4 Y1 and then 2 Y2 multiply that what we get 4 Y1 square plus 2 Y2 square. Now we get again quadratic form with no cross product term. Now I solve two problems, refer some more problems from the textbook you do it. Now I completed a quadratic form and also how to convert quadratic with cross product form into again quadratic form without with no cross product term. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.